talking with, right here. Yes, we were talking with Dr. Morris just a moment ago about uh, some of the issues regarding research, and I know that that's uh, what we wanted to have you speak about. Would you like to uh, tell folks uh, a little bit about how you got uh, how you got hooked into to this phone call, and also just a little bit about your background and what you've done with research out of China, your familiarity with it, and uh, your own understanding as a Western trained uh, medical doctor uh, about the issues that are facing the legitimacy of research uh, on acupuncture. Uh, where should I start? I got into acupuncture uh, as a medical student, actually. There were some uh, patients getting uh, some very chronic uh, pain conditions. There was one who had been addicted to medicine, and there were some physicians in the pain clinic who were using something called a neuro uh, It turned out that was based on acupuncture, and uh, both of the individuals got extremely better uh, in relatively short time. And so this is something I figured I needed to uh, research. And then you spent some time, uh, I think you spent some time in China uh, looking at some of the research uh, shortly after you finished medical school as well, no? Uh, yes, I actually was able to go to China twice. So once was for three months uh, on the World Health Organization Fellowship, and that was to actually learn acupuncture and how to be a practitioner. I uh, was able to go back uh, in 2001 and spend about another three months just looking at the Chinese medical literature, uh, the research that they were doing, and trying to uh, see how that uh, compared to some of the research that was being done around the world. Excellent. And, and talk to our audience then about the literature in China, what you saw, how it struck you, how it, in a sense, measured up uh, in terms of methodology and, and the legitimacy of, or the difference between, really, the methodology that you saw in their research and some of the concerns that, really, the Western medical community has for research coming out of China. Well, the first thing that struck me, and I have to start off by saying that the research and the quality of the research is intriguing, uh, but I would find uh, various kinds of research reports in the Chinese medical literature. Uh, they would sometimes use moxa or acupuncture with various point combinations, various models of pattern discrimination, herbs, and even combinations of these. And almost uniformly, no matter what the intervention was, uh, the success rates were reported at uh, 90%. It was incredibly difficult, and in fact, uh, during my stay over there, I could never find a negative result in any of the research. Now, of course, I found that somewhat impossible to believe, especially as I've looked at the clinical trials or research trials across the globe. Uh, it, in essence, at that point, almost nine years ago, the Chinese acupuncture research literature found acupuncture such universal and outstanding success that it almost never failed to exceed medication or any other treatment approach uh, when they were comparing it to acupuncture. Now, I believe that that is still possible in almost any search circumstance. Uh, it certainly doesn't compare to the clinical trials that have been done around uh, the other countries. Uh, uh, there was uh, one example that always struck me in particular. We had numerous uh, studies about the efficacy of acupuncture treating hepatitis. Well, if uh, it was 9% successful, you would expect to see the death rates and morbidity rates of hepatitis dropping dramatically in China, and actually the converse is true. So the conclusion is that, at least for what I reached, is that something wasn't right. And uh, I believe that there's been some excellent studies over the past five years that look at uh, the research or the uh, clinical trials and have come up with uh, criteria that are uh, needed. There was an article just out in 2007 where they looked at literally 7,422 uh, randomized clinical trials in the Chinese medical literature, and uh, the uh, overall quality of the studies measured by uh, international consensus guidelines uh, were, they found it to be poor. Now, 
when they apply the same research criteria, and the one I'm referring to is called the consort, 